Yeah, I think the receivers are playing, you know, really well right now. Obviously, we have a you know ton of guys that can play, whether that's outside, inside. You got tight ends that can catch the ball, but I think it's really, um, you know, it's it's really exciting to see some of the guys, especially some of the young guys like Jordan that's came along a lot, a lot Blake, and obviously you know the guys like Tay, Dee, Q, Blair, all those guys. But it, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, and they're playing you know great right now for us. Speaking of Q, does it feel like he's kind of taking this game to the next level so far? Yeah, yeah he's worked you know obviously extremely hard this off season, and I think he put a lot of work in. Now you're seeing that of just him being. You know, that guy, that number one that everyone, you know, schemes up against and game plans against to try to take away. But, yeah, he's going to be that, that dude. Max, what, what's, what are some of the elements of your game that you want to improve on? Um, obviously, just concept-wise, just trying to get through the reads quicker and, you know, more fluid. Obviously, not sticking on one, whether it's a first read or second read, just kind of getting through. Maybe it's, you know, not always trying to have that, that big player trying to squeeze it in to, you know, tight windows, maybe getting to the back. And then obviously, kind of the vertical, um, you know, deep ball. Putting more air on things, kind of give our receivers, you know, better chance to make a play and just um, kind of improving in that area of the game. What excites you the most about Coach Dyke's uh, offensive system? Um, you know, there's a lot of things to be excited about. Obviously, he's been successful in, in his concepts, his schemes, his offense, and, and Coach Riley has too. But it just being a, a friendly offense for a quarterback, I think it just uh, puts confidence in you as a passer and as a player. And I think they do that as coaches. They put confidence in you, and I think that just helps of – you know, in that air raid system and just getting the getting the ball to your playmakers and makes my job easy. And you, you talked about uh, insulation and, and scheme and stuff for the offense, but have you started to see more of that from the defense as well? Or are they starting to present a little bit more of a challenge? Yeah, so, um, you know, at the at the beginning of the camp, you usually run your base stuff, but I think towards the, you know, last couple of practices, they've started to um, do a little, more, a little bit more things, whether that's in coverage, um, you know, stunts up front. But I think it's been it's been good for everybody. You know, our secondary has been playing really well during camp. It makes our jobs hard, but um, it's going to help us in the long run for the season when it comes. I know you guys all get along in the room, but how much does that competition every day from Ch from Chandler and Sam and even Josh help you improve as a quarterback? Yeah, I think you know I said a you know forever that competition brings out the best, uh, brings out excellence in everybody, and it's a healthy competition. And I think it just um, improves everybody every day that you got to go out there and you know your job's not secure and you got to work every day because someone wants to take it. But uh, we help each other every day, you know whether that's you know in scheme, footwork, things of that sort. But it's been a lot of fun for everybody. You're not consumed by what's going on. No. no. Why not? Um, you just got to go out there and you know be yourself, play. You know whatever happens happens. Um, play your game. Don't worry about other things. You know whatever happens will be the best for the team, and you just got to accept your role, whatever that is. Are you pleased with your camp so far? Yeah, I've been. Uh, I've had some good days. I've had some bad days. Obviously, there's things I need to improve on. And there's things that I've done well, but I'm um, just trying to go out there, you know, get better each day. Try to improve on something. Try to, you know, do whatever I can to, you know, help lead this offense. We hear a lot about the offensive line and how much they've improved. What What are your thoughts on on how much they've improved? Um, obviously, skill wise, they've done you know they've done so much to help each other in the off season and help each other as a unit. But I think the thing that I've seen a lot from them is in the leadership role and kind of having that attitude that an O line needs. You see the greats, you know, the teams that are in the top of the top of the country every single year. Their O line is kind of the leaders of the team. They're kind of the have that attitude, and I think that's what our guys are kind of starting to become. And I think they have that kind of that nastiness. But they're playing as a unit. They're playing confident. And I think that's what we need, and, and they're playing phenomenal. Coach Dykes has had a lot of success coaching quarterbacks over the few years that he's been doing it. How have your routines, or have they changed at all under him? Uh, yeah, there's a couple things. Obviously, um, you know, each off season, every season, as you get older, there's kind of things that you you look back on what what you did well, whether that's in preparation for the game, during the game, or what things you you didn't do well. But Coach Dykes has done, um, you know, a great job of, of helping all the quarterbacks. You know, and simple things of you know reads, you know, just attitude and, you know, perspective of it. I think that's a, uh, it's been a lot of help. Anything else, Kevin?